Well, good evening, this is Hamlock Steve, wishing you a very pleasant evening. And uh, we have just had a tremendous shockwave on the stock market, and uh, it is an attempt by Main Street uh, via social media to balance the scales and to stop the short sellers in their tracks. Now, I don't know if you know what short selling is, um, but basically I'll just give you a, a, a simple overview. So the idea with short selling is uh, you have a company which is just an average performing company uh, as GameStop was, um, although it certainly was not going to last much longer because it's the kind of, it's almost like a video stop type of uh, business and of course all of that stuff has gone online now so you know it may not have made it through you know another five you know may, maybe seven ten years who, who knows but in the meantime it was a viable company and it was employing people uh, it was creating wealth through its share price and um, uh, the jobs of course the people who had the jobs spent the money into the broader economy and so what happens with these short sellers uh, is that they will see a company like this, okay, and they'll say to themselves, well, it was going to die anyway, so, uh, you know, let's just kill it off, we'll just do it a lot more quickly, and so they will buy or borrow shares at a particular price, in this case, uh, it was $5, I believe, for uh, GameStop, then these companies together, or uh, individually, will plow in to this stock and they will buy up and they will borrow as many shares as they possibly can all the way up and they will run the stock up and the interest that they can garner will of course uh, and of course as we saw with GameStop the shares went up to $400 from $5. Now there is a time limit on the shares that are borrowed so they have to be paid back at a certain time and the idea is that you push these shares up, you sell out, you collapse the stock price, you buy back in and you give the shares back to the person that you bought them off, or you borrowed them off, sorry, and uh, you've made a whacking great profit in the meantime. However, if you get caught and the uh, stock price does not drop before the option runs out, you have to pay back all of those people at the current price. So, as I say, um, Melvin uh, uh, Financials bought in at 4 or $5, ran it up to 400 However, these people through Wall Street Bets and Reddit uh, basically coordinated and they decided not to sell their shares back or to sell out when it reached the $400 mark. And so the price didn't drop and the options expired. And, of course, Melvin had to pay back an incredible, uh, I think they had to get bailed out to $2.7 billion to cover the losses. But they, they lost nearly $7 billion, at half the company's value. So now, of course, short selling is not illegal. But what Melvin was doing, and many other of these hedge funds do, they will engage in what is called naked short selling. So now this naked short selling means that you create shares that actually don't exist. And so Melvin actually held 138% of the shares, which of course is impossible uh, as there is only 100%, and they got caught with their pants down. Now there are lots of hedge companies that are doing exactly this and it is essentially raping and pillaging Main Street. Now, here's a headline over the outbreak. And so here you have it, the billionaires made $3.9 trillion during this outbreak and workers lost $3.7 trillion in wages. Now, I know it's a, a bit more complicated story than that, but this is the kind of thing that is taking place all of the time now, is that the wealth is being transferred from those who can least afford to lose it to those who don't need it. And this is unbelievably predatory. It is highly illegal. And so we can see that the politicians don't care. The regulators are completely corrupt and in bed with the hedge funds. And I'd say a great film, actually a couple of great films to watch. One is The Big Short, and it goes through the whole short selling process and the dangers and the corruption. Because at the end of the day, you know, in the big short, uh, the people who were shorting the mortgages were correct. They were absolutely right. But Dominion bond rating, uh, they 
refused to downgrade the mortgages and so the person who was short selling got caught short uh, and of course this is a, a, just shows you the corruption that takes place in the regulatory industry and the other film is The Wolf of Wall Street and you know The Wolf of Wall Street makes this sound like a children's party compared to what really goes on on Wall Street it is so predatory and these people what 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 what's happened to the markets is uh, at one time you know you would invest in a company that had good underlying fundamentals uh, it manufactured something or produced a service that was of value to other people people would pay for that service the company made a profit and you would invest in that company which would allow it to expand and everybody made money the, the people who worked for the company made money the people who invested the co in the company made money and the people who owned the company made money now these uh, vulture capitalists step in, uh, they will buy up two companies, merge them together, gut the staff and sell it at a profit uh, when it's not really functioning. It just looks on paper like it is a great company but in reality it doesn't create any wealth, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. The whole, the whole idea of capitalism is that you take something, you add value, you sell it at a profit and you put the profit in your pocket. That's how it works. But these vulture capitalists don't do that at all. They are, they are gutting our system. In fact, they are one of the main reasons that our economy is tanking. Uh, these hedge funds have driven interest rates down to 0% and less in some cases in some countries. And uh, so that, again, has punished the saver. It's punished the retiree. It's punished the person who's worked hard all their life and has invested their money uh, to make a little bit of interest to help eke out a pension fund for themselves and these hedge funds have ruined people's lives and so this is payback you know the Wall Street bets uh, and the Millennials and Generation Z who got absolutely hammered in 2008 their whole future was stolen from them uh, their parents were eviscerated their parents businesses were eviscerated and Obama Timmy Geithner, they bailed out the big banks. They bailed out the too big to fail and they left Main Street basically dead in the gutter. And this is payback time. And so I, for one, am extremely pleased, extremely pleased to see this take place. And the next one is the big silver short and that is JP Morgan. And uh, you could see JP Morgan collapse in this coming week and they are scared to death. And here we are, the headline. Everyone is afraid of the open, and that's tomorrow morning on Monday, as the Reddit Raiders spark a national physical silver shortage. And so I suspect what is going to happen is that they are going to buy up all of the paper shorts on silver, and they're going to buy as much physical silver as they possibly can because JP Morgan and Jamie Dimon have been doing exactly the same thing. They've been trading, I believe it is, 238 paper ounces for every single silver ounce in existence. So, of course, if everybody calls in their marker at the same time, JP Morgan is going to be in a lot of trouble. And it couldn't happen to a nicer group of people. Remember, these people are not your friends. These people have decimated your pensions. They're trying to destroy your lives. They are destroying businesses wholesale and they are destroying the world's economy. These are psychopathic vulture capitalist predators. OK, and our government is in bed with these people because the regulators, you know, JP Morgan was caught um, basically uh, rigging the silver market. And what did they get? A 10% fine. 10% of the money that they made rigging the market was paid in the fine. So where's the incentive to stop that kind of behavior? There is none. There is none. And finally, finally, Main Street, the younger millennials and the Gen Zers have basically said, okay, if the government's not going to regulate and the financial markets are going to be corrupt, we are going to cause the correction. And trust me, uh, these people are shitting their pants right now. They are absolutely scared to death. They, it doesn't look like it because they like to keep things looking normal and calm, but they are absolutely scared to death. 
and it looks good on them because they are evil incarnate. Now I was going to read a little letter about Gabe Plotkin who is the owner of Melvin's uh, investments who lost all this money but um, it's just going to make this video too long so I'm going to finish up here and I'm going to make that letter a separate piece and it's just a kind of interesting little uh, show of what these people do with their money. So in the meantime this is Hound Dog Steve signing off wishing you a very pleasant evening and we'll talk very very shortly. You take care now. See ya. Bye.